thing when you're at, I think once you're at that professional level with music, finding a teacher of some capacity is far more about finding a mentor. Mm -hmm. Because I could play bass, like I knew how to physically play the instrument. What I needed to figure out next was what is the point of me playing bass? Yeah. And like, what is this gonna mean for my life? And what kind of life do I want? And not that I think I, I probably wasn't conscious of that, those being the issues yet. Mm. I was more just like, I wanna play more bass and more bass and better bass and better people. And you know, cause I was 20, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 21. Um, so anyway, I met Tom Warrington. Ultimately he offered me a scholarship to go and study with him in the States. So he offered it to me once and I was like, oh, I just got out of uni. Like I'm real sick of school, you know, I just need a break. So I had one more year of working in Auckland and I was teaching bass. Um, at six different high schools around the shore in the city um, and I was playing a lot of gigs and then he came back a year later and he said what are you doing now mm. and I looked around and I was like well, I'm kind of doing exactly the same thing as I was last year and it's great but I have this feeling like if I don't make a big change now I might be doing this for 30 years yeah um, and I loved it and it wasn't that it was a bad life it's just that I kind of wanted to see what more was out there mm. and you know how much better I could get at music and how you know the kind of opportunities people I could play with places I could visit um I didn't leave New Zealand because I was unhappy here I just yeah. left because I wanted to see what more was out there you know yeah and so I went over to Las Vegas where he was teaching to UNLV and I did a mm -hmm. master's degree master's in jazz bass um and then and and living in Vegas was crazy um I spent the first year trying to find a way to leave <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want to live here. Um, and then I spent the second year thinking, well, I'm nearly finished and it's a free degree. And I, I loved working. I loved learning from Tom. He, he was the first kind of mentor in my life that really got me thinking about the greater meaning of things. And, you know, that it's not about just playing music. It's about, you know, what you're expressing with the music and mm. what you're doing in a, in a greater, <clears throat> you know, the greater level. Um, and he was awesome. And we spent most of my lessons not playing, just talking yeah. about life, which was exactly what I needed. So um, <clears throat> in the meantime, I had reconnected with Sai, who's, who I'd met in high school while in Auckland um, at a different high school. And he was living in London. So we actually, we were a couple for five years. Yeah. Um, so at the end of my degree, I moved to London to be with him. Oh, wow. So I was there for like four, almost five years in London. Um, and we started playing music together. I started playing country music for the first time. I'd been like a, just a jazz snob for yeah, yeah. the bulk of my life so far. Started playing country. He got me singing, which ha totally has changed my career. Um, I frequently, I'll be like hired to do, you know, some bass backing vocal job that I'm, you know, it's like half and half. And I frequently think like, if it wasn't for Sai, I wouldn't be doing this, you know, cause he, mm. he encouraged me to do something that I was, afraid of which was mm. singing on a microphone um so we spent time there we started our first band together then we came back to new zealand um then we split up <laughs> then we decided to stay a band which was a good call but a difficult one yeah. um, we had all these gigs together all of our income was like you know joint projects we had residencies we had jazz gigs we had corporate events and we were like we we suck as a couple but we're like really good at music together yeah um so we stayed a band after you know m we're really really good friends now and and i think people look at us and go like how, how do you do that how do you yeah. how do you stay working with your ex but it wasn't immediately roses you know it took some time but we did stay really close, became close again. <clears throat> and then we moved to Nashville um, to be a band over there and to work as session players and um, build our individual careers and also, you know, as a band. So, and then we've been in, that was 2014. So been in Nashville for a good um, eight years. And yeah, it's a, a wild journey of pursuing music all around the world. Wow. <laughs>